What is going on sports fans? The waste of truth coming at you. Not only the truth in gaming, but the truth in everything. Yeah, that's corny, I know. Alright guys, I want to talk about the Spurs and Thunder. The game last night really showed the age of the Spurs. I mean, they're a veteran team, and that's great and fine. But to me, I think the Thunder is, is coming in their own. They're really growing up in front of everybody. You can really see them kind of turning the corner. And I don't know if the Spurs can even win tomorrow to even keep the series alive. They've just played so bad recently. and Maybe they're not playing bad. Maybe it's just the Thunder is, is so much more athletic. They can't guard them. They can't stop them. I mean, Durant just made some crazy wild shots that – it's kind of unbelievable, and I really can't wait to see Durant next season and after that because he's really starting to mature and grow, and he's a really great player already. So look out, LeBron. I'm telling you, people are loving LeBron. I'm a LeBron fan myself, but Durant, he's the future. There's no doubt about that. But what gets me more so than that is the Spurs. How, How do you come back like that and then not have – the will because to me I don't I don't care what you say the Spurs aren't playing like the Spurs yeah they're old that's playing a big factor in it but when they're winning all of a sudden they're not old anymore oh they're they're a veteran team that's experienced but now they're losing oh we're old that's our excuse and yeah it's kind of an excuse you can throw it out there that Tim Duncan is getting about ready to retire but at the same time you can't always say hey we're old we lost you haven't lost three games in a row the whole season. Now all of a sudden you come in and lose three games in a row in the playoffs. you got to have that will to win. And I'm just not sure if all the players on the Spurs have that will to win. Tim Duncan, to me, seems like he just kind of coasting. He had 18 points, 12 with rebounds. But he's not Tim Duncan anymore. He, he's just like a shell of himself. He just seems like he doesn't really have that, that spark that, if you watch his posture, he's not the same guy that wants to win I honestly believe he knows he's close to retiring. He kind of just like, well, these guys are too young. They're too fast. We can't get them. And kind of just gave up. But I'm hoping the next game they really pick up the pace, find that that spark they need, and make it at least an exciting game. Because the first half of the game last night was really, really terrible. So hopefully these guys can get it together. I really, I really think the Thunder is going to take this series tomorrow night and – I think the Spurs are going to probably be a whole different team next year. I don't really know if Duncan's going to return. Personally, I think Duncan should go ahead and retire, but we'll see what he decides. Who am I to tell the man to quit playing basketball? That's what he loves. Let him keep doing what he loves. And is it me or is the referee in so bad? Not just in the Spurs and Thunder series, but especially in the Heat Celtic series. That is... It's just refereeing overall is just getting bad. Are these guys blind? I'm not sure. Hopefully somebody can talk to these referees and, and you know, a lot of fire under their ass and tell them, look, you need to pay attention to what's going on. Stop looking at the little girls over here cheerleading or whatever they're looking at because they're making a lot of no calls and they call a little tap. Then a the guy gets smacked in the face. They don't call it. So in both series, I hope the referees really pick up the pace and start seeing what we see. I don't. I don't understand how you can be right in front, right in your face, and you can't see the guy get smacked in the face. Or you're standing right looking, you can't see the guy's foot go out of bounds. That's your job. You're standing 5, 10 feet away. You can't see that? It's time for a new referee. But anyway, guys, I just want to share my thoughts real quick on the Spurs and the uh, Thunder game. Looking forward to the, the Celtics and the Heat game tonight. You know, just give me your opinions. Let me know what you think, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.